The internet was designed to ease communication, and it must stay that way. However, we as a society cannot ignore the fact that we have been ineffective in preventing jihadist materials being propagated across social media websites such as YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Knowing the power of social media today and its reach, it is quite natural that terrorist groups exploit social media to their advantage. What we do not know is how many people have been radicalized by viewing blogs, videos, images, news feeds, and tweets. The key question is, what is the trigger when those capsulated by terrorist ideologies metamorphosize from keyboard jihadists petting hatreds and intolerance to active terrorists. That is where SDT comes in the form of a bridge from which those fed the staple consistent diet of intolerance and hatred can launch themselves into taking direct action against those that SDT deem infidels. You need to look at the problems here in Belgium. What pushed young people to go to Syria? They didn't just wake up one day and say, I want to go to Syria because it seems to be great there. It's part of a process. These youth. The SDT form an epicenter from whence radicalism festers. It is only a matter of time before an act of terror shall occur. And the culprit would have been brainwashed by platforms such as this one, which is no surprise when they have appointed Ostad Humana Basi as the captain of their Takfiri ship. We have thus submitted substantial evidence to demonstrate that Ustad Homan Abbasi, aka Hassan Shimrani, has a direct nexus with known extremist groups. In our most recent video on Human and SDT members sought to downplay the allegations made against them. Out of desperation, Human responded by leaving a YouTube comment wherein he acknowledged his involvement with a German blog, but suggested he merely contributed towards it. SDT's main mouthpiece, Ali, commented that the hate preacher Rami Isa video wherein he called for the slaughter and enslavement of Shiri was a joke. Upon further investigation, we have unearthed even more extremist material on the blog. Not only are the STD and their members promoting and defending the likes of Rami Isa, Shahab Dashti, Al Qaeda, and Jama'at al Sunnah, they actually revere and pray for the members of ISIS and promote their anti Shia material. After reviewing the blog, Rafadi Shredder, and let's not forget this website, is recommended by Human Abbasi, we come across a blurred image, which naturally raised questions of why this was done in the first place. Alhamdulillah, we managed to locate the original image. Let's take a look at who this is. As you can see, this image belongs to the ISIS founder Zarqawi. To make matters even worse, the blog which Human contributes to have even uploaded Zarqawi's lecture titled Has the Story of Rafida Reached You? Despite Human's clandestine methods, he is not either brave or naive enough to openly revere the likes of Zarqawi. He does, however, revere personalities that influence such terrorists. Human Abbasi, as can be seen in the following clip, wherein he agrees with the expansion of their extremist ideology by the sword. Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi was the one who saved Egypt from Tashayyu. Is Salah al-Din, before dealing with the Crusaders, and this is something we need to learn, before dealing with the Crusaders, he dealt with the Rawafat there, with the criminals there. They were criminals. They, they In Egypt, they used to curse, they used to curse the Sahaba in public. And who was it? It was Salah al-Din who dealt with them before dealing with the Crusaders. So they cursed Salah al-Din. In their books, their scholars, Salah al-Din is an evil criminal to them. Does Human justify Shari killings if they curse Sahaba indirectly? Is this an example of subliminal messaging? Rather, this accords with the terrorist-fueled anti-Shari views expressed on the Rafidi Shredder blog. Furthermore, According to Human's own admission, 
Cursing and disassociating oneself from certain Sunni figures is a fundamental Shia belief. Bara'a, this association which includes la'an and takfir, cursing, takfir of Abu Bakr and Umar and a number of other Sahaba, is a fundamental belief of Shiism. I used to be Shia, akhi. One of the furu' of deen, and some claim it's one of the asl of deen, is bara'a. If there is no practicing Shia, any practicing Shia in the world who doesn't despise and curse Abu Bakr and Umar, because it, it, you will find it in numerous du'a. So how should one deal with Shia that opts to practice the fundamental beliefs in his religion? It is notable that Human has not condemned the alleged blog owner, nor has he told his adherents to stay aloof from such an extremist site. He has merely said, I'm not the owner, as a means of dismissing the serious allegations levied against him. if he really condemns extremism and terrorism. Why did he contribute to this blog in the first place? Why did he not mind working with terrorists and ISIS supporters as long as nobody knew? Why has he remained silent until the Bayat al-Ghadir made this public knowledge? If he disagreed over the blog's terrorist views, why is his content still readily available on the blog? Why does he still signpost people to a blog that he knows encourages sectarian killing and terrorism? How many more terrorist sympathizers has Human Abbasi worked with, whether that is overtly or covertly? In order to divert attention away from the subject matter, Human claims that Bayt al Ghadir are accusing him of being a convicted terrorist. But are these really the allegations we made against him? We have stated from the outset that the likes of Human Abbasi incite hatred towards Shi'i and advocate for those that have nexus to terrorism. Now the real question we must ask ourselves is why the SDT are hell-bent on sowing sectarian hatred, violence, and intolerance towards Shi'i. We appeal to those with open minds to compare the content on both channels, listen to the language of their contributors, and ask yourselves, which channel fuels the flames of intolerance, hatred, and sectarian violence, Bayat al-Ghadir or SDT? Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Inshallah, we will see you again very soon.